we're going to have a look at how the fuel cell works. Here I have a fuel cell and it's connected by two tubes to some water. In this one we're going to collect some hydrogen and in this one we're going to collect oxygen. So all we have is a system here with this little cell and it is just simply connected with water. Now let's apply some electricity to this. I have a solar panel and to the negative side I'm going to connect to the side that's going to produce hydrogen and to the positive side I'm going to connect to the side which is going to produce hydrogen and then with the sunshine we can start collecting free solar energy and turn that into hydrogen and oxygen. Let's take a look inside the fuel cell. We, looking at the outside there appears to be a perforated metal sheet. This is in fact something called the hydrogen flow field and it allows the hydrogen gas to escape from the fuel cell. Next to this is an anode and the anode consists of a palladium catalyst and that helps the reaction. Between the two electrodes there is a polymer electrolyte membrane which allows the transfer of the hydrogen gas and hydrogen ions. Then there is the other electrode, the cathode, and next to this is the oxygen flow field which allows the oxygen to come in and escape from the fuel cell. Now let's see this in action. The electricity comes into the fuel cell and here the fuel cell will break down the water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is collected in one of these storage containers and then the oxygen is collected in the other container. Looking at the fuel cell in diagrammatic form, we have in the middle this polymer electrolyte membrane surrounded by the electrodes and on either side the anode and cathodes. When we start, water enters through the anode and here when it reaches the cathode and anode things start to happen. The water is broken down into hydrogen ions and these by the, by the, the electrons in the battery and this then produces oxygen gas. The hydrogen ions travel across through the polymer electrolyte membrane where they are reacted with electrons and this forms hydrogen gas which escapes through to the cathode side of the fuel cell. At any time I can just disconnect the solar panel and I can plug this into either a light or in this case a fan and immediately the fuel cell reverses and produces electricity from hydrogen and oxygen. Some rather interesting and perhaps weird things happen. The hydrogen enters the cathode and here it reacts with the palladium catalyst. The palladium catalyst is in fact rather weird in how it works and this is a topic for another video. The hydrogen is split by the palladium producing electrons and hydrogen ions. The electrons travel around the circuit lighting up the bulb 
or powering a fan. And the hydrogen crosses this polymer electrolyte membrane, which is again a topic for another video of how this tries to move the hydrogen ions. And the hydrogen ions react with the electrons and oxygen to produce water which escapes from the anode side of the fuel cell.